Good morning, hello, and welcome back to day three at Disneyland Paris. Technically like the second full day because we arrived kind of late on the first day, but we still made the most of it. I've lost my jumper. No, which jumper? The warm one. Hello. Good morning. This is who I'm with, if you missed it. Everyone. This is my roomie, and we were very kindly invited to Disneyland Paris for the grand reopening of the Pink Hotel, which is not called the Pink Hotel. No, we were saying no. we all have different names for it. Yeah, Em calls it the Castle Hotel. The Castle which Hotel. Which is quite endearing, The Pink actually. Hotel. What did Freddie call it? Freddie called the it the Princess, Princess Hotel. Hotel. Emily calls it Disneyland Hotel Paris, because that's the actual name of it. Emily's obsessed with everything being right and not wrong, and how dare she say it's not that's correct. That's the correct name. For me, it's the Pink Hotel. It's a gorgeous hotel. It's the icon of Disneyland Paris and I just cannot believe that we have been invited here to witness it. So Emily and I are sharing but you found it good. Emily and I are sharing a room and we actually brought Freddie and Josie with us. So we wanted to make it into a really special girls trip. So technically they're in Emily's room and we're in my room and it's just amazing that we could bring our friends with us and make such a wonderful girly weekend. So far we've just had the best time. So we are going to head down to breakfast. I'm going to pop my coat on. It is February. It is the month of love. <laughs> so it's a little bit drizzly outside. She's laughing at me. It's, lo it's love month. It is love month. Who's your Valentine? Emily's my Valentine. Who's your Valentine? My Valentine is my boyfriend, Matt, who is so sad that he couldn't be here. Prince can't be here. My <laughs> Prince. Some flowers this year too. I'll get Emily some flowers this year. Do you think Matt will? Matt might get you some flowers as well. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, actually my boyfriend loves Disney, we went to Disney Florida together and he had the best time. We ended up staying in the Disney Magic Kingdom Castle, I sound like I'm lying when I say that, but yes we stayed there, so Matt has absolutely peaked when it comes to Disney. So he's going to have to come back to Paris at some point and I'll have to break the news to him that he can't stay in that castle but he can stay in this pink castle. So we're ready for breakfast, I'm wearing this, it's a little bit drizzly and damp outside which is it's sad, but like honestly, it adds to the atmosphere. Today we are doing Hollywood Studios, which I'm so excited about. We're going to do a full day there today and take you with us. I'm so excited. I'm actually going to get changed after breakfast, but first we're going to go and get breakfast because we are so tired. I think Fred and Josie are probably going to go and do loads of rides in Magic Hour, but these trips are amazing, but we're tired because we've been going so full on with everything. So we're just like ambling behind about half an hour behind them. Let's go and eat. We're not skipping breakfast because the breakfast here is really good. And by the way, if you're new here, please hit subscribe and come say hi on Instagram, mshellex. There's like a highlight bubble called DLP, Disneyland Paris. I would love to have you as part of the family, so if you could hit subscribe now and come over to Instagram now, then you would just make all of my dreams come true. Let's go eat. You can see everyone lining and getting ready to go into the park on this beautiful morning. On this side you can see Walt Disney Studios. And we are just walking down the corridor to our breakfast. Even the music playing in the hotel is just amazing. There's little areas like this. Every single area is just amazing. Like look, we have all of these amazing sculptures that you can buy. And then they have the Royal Collection Boutique here that we went to the other day in vlog one. Do you want to go in? Well, Emily wants to go in again. She basically wants to buy something special and commemorative for her house. This one is gorgeous, isn't it? They have all of these all around the hotel and I just think they're really magical, actually. Okay, let's pop in for a minute into the shop. We're going to eat. This is the shop. I feel like these need a home. It's so beautiful. So if you want to buy ears, come and buy it all in here. Oh wow, this is this is such a nice breakfast present.
they have they have crap Suzette. And they have their little waffles and they have their porridge in there. Plant based sausages, that's good. So this is the lobby, this is the staircase and then look at all of the stairwells around it. It's just insane, it's so beautiful and bright with the windows. How about these insane windows? And the chandelier. And then at check-in they have like these bookcases surrounding the kind of check-in desks which is just so beautiful. And then you have this chandelier, which literally is a work of art. Time has come to check out of our beautiful princess room. I will pop on screen now a little room tour because I did that in the other vlogs and I want you to see it in case you're new to this video. We just have like this gorgeous room with these two beds. They even have like princess things at the front. That's how it feels. Every single inch of the room is just special. And we have this gorgeous window, which actually overlooks kind of like, well, everyone going into the park is very, very, very magical. And we just feel so blessed. I can't believe we got to have a sleepover in Disneyland Paris. It's just something that I'll never forget. We also got to see the other suites. Oh my goodness, the Frozen suite. I'll put it on screen. It's insane. We have to have a sleepover there because I love Frozen. It's a work of art and you basically have a balcony that literally looks into Magic Kingdom. It has so much history in that room. So yeah, the suites were amazing. And now we are going to take our bags down and head out to... Studio. I'm so excited. I'm wearing stripes because I'm in Paris. It's not actually, it's actually what. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. I'm in Paris, but it's kind of good because it's quite cold. I can just go like this. Yeah, that's really nice. Let's go get the girlies. You're all wearing a coat, right? I'm wearing a coat, big coat over the top. The amount of times we've gone out this trip and Em's had nothing on her arms. I'm like, are you, are you bringing your coat? I used to live in Montreal. I'm used to the cold. I'm from Yorkshire. I'm used to that. I differently. hate being cold. I got back from Los Angeles like what three days ago, and it, I just I, I can't. I feel like I've already got the winter uglies. I'm already freezing. The winter uglies, it's a thing. I faced on my mom, and I was like, how? 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 We're back. We're thriving. We're I'm running away again soon. So she's running around Disney parks with me today. First though, she yeah. 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 she'll get our girlies. Look who we're with, the girlies are awake, we are here, we are hither, where are we going first? And we're not doing Tower of Terror first. Warm me up. First ride of the day. I have never been on this. I have no idea what this even is. I'm still feeling very full from breakfast. I'm kind of nervous. I love him. Hello, boss. This is my favorite part. I just love this area with all the food stalls. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's the French area, I guess. And they have the most amazing, they have like wine and waffles and 
hot chocolates, chocolate chip. I feel like we need to have a look at them all properly so you can see because they are utterly delicious. Pretzels. No Mickey pretzels though. But did uh, no, they have like actual Mickey pretzels usually. Look at that. Drool a Rooney. It smells so good. No, they have very good stuff. This one. This is mulled wine. Mulled wine. Oh, and look at the hot chocolate at the back. They found the crab. Yum, yum, yum. Oh. Mm. The girls were little crepes yesterday and I missed oh, out because I was hungry, so I'm good. Yay, now you get to enjoy one. I think the girls are going to make me go on Tower of Terror very, very soon. Uh, we tried to go, oh my gosh, is that the screams of Tower of Terror? No, that's the mushroom <laughs> children's ride. Freddie and I were screaming and there was a two-year-old on it and we were like, oh it's gosh. It's so good though, isn't it? Well, we tried to go on Tower of Terror last night, but it was closed, the park, so do you think we should just go on it while we're going past it? But girls, we think while we're, while we're going past it, we should go on it. Girls, we're going past it. It's efficient. It wasn't meant to be my first ride, but we did just try to go on another one, and the lines were quite long, so we're doing Tower of Terror first. First ride of the day, Tower of Terror. So we're doing direct access, which I would 100% recommend. It's amazing because you can get onto the ride so speedily. There's just an issue with the last ride, so they said the line was quite long, so we've decided to do this first instead. Oh no, it's time. Emily's favorite ride. Em's least favorite ride because she hates elevators. You have to lift your feet and lift your arms and then you fly. No, look how scary it is in here. It's so creepy. So they take you into an elevator, like over here you stand, and then the magic begins. So these are like elevators, and you stand there, and in you go. The problem is, I need a wee. Yeah, that, right, that's dangerous. Right before, I need to do some pelvic floor exercises. <laughs> We're up. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. That dropped so many times. So, like eight times. So the girls were saying, so I was like, how many times did it drop? I can't remember. And the girls were saying it changes with each time. And the girls were like, that's the most it's ever dropped. I've been on it a lot of times in Florida, and that dropped before we'd even like got into the ride. It dropped. Mrs. I Caracara. have my own though, don't I? That was insane. I'm still like, right. Freddie and I were holding hands. Freddie and I were literally holding hands. And when we got to the top, which is the best part by the way, make sure your eyes are open for that bit. We all just looked at each other and it was so funny and then we just went, we all put our arms up and ah! That was so amazing. Good. I want to do it again. Wow, next. So that's like, I would say, one of the scariest here. But it was so, like it's fun. Even though I have an elevator phobia, I still love it every time I'm on it. Considering you have an elevator phobia, you do very well. I think I do quite well. I'm, I will still go on all of the rides. Um, and when I do it, it's fine, but that was so fun. Definitely my favorite, and actually my boyfriend's favorite ride as well. Already, Jules, the Apparently, this is a new Avengers ride, according to Emily. Ooh. We're more excited than we sound, by the way. We're just waiting. So, we're more excited than we sound. We're just waiting. We're trying not to be those obnoxious people in the line with cameras. Yeah, I know, that's why it's down there. That's, really, that's why we're the slow being very low. That's why it's at this very ugly angle. But we are ready to ride. Enter into the vehicle, take a seat, and put on the wet vision passing glasses. They'll help you find all the mountains by the moment.
We were just on a Spider-Man ride. It was actually really good. Like it was kind of like the Buzz Lightyear ride. Gosh, look at my hair from the rain. It was kind of like a Buzz Lightyear ride, but way more intense because you kind of like use your hands and it was just so. It was quite a workout actually. I said, oh my gosh, my watch is going to be going. Yeah, I'm really high, warm. You got the highest score, Em. You must it have clicked given, immediately. You were then. giving it all the action. It's so good. If someone filmed me. No, no, I was really. Even when it stopped, it was still going. I was ready. It was like a hit workout for me. What next? Avengers. Uh, I've never done this one. I don't think. Oh, so now we're doing Avengers. I have. Emily says I have done this. Great memory. Oh shit! I did it in Florida. It was so good. So good. The girls were saying that it used to be rock and roller coaster. Uh, yeah. Um, it was amazing, and I have to say, I forgot how good I love that ride. I did the one in Florida. The picture is really fun. Okay, I'm gonna go and have a look. I just miss the music. I think the, because I'm not a huge Avengers fan, I need like the music, the vibey music, and then it will be my favorite ride ever. It was amazing. I was clearly having a great time. I really would like a crap, but we are getting through all of the rides. And next up is Crusher's Coaster. That's not the one that we tried to go to first, oh, is it? Yeah, Which is apparently the Finding Nemo ride. And my memory is just so bad. I don't think I've been on this one before. No. You haven't. The, the line's usually so, so long, especially like when the weather's good. So my tour guides are very kindly taking me to the Finding Nemo ride. I'm very excited. Is this one a difficult one? Is it a fun one? Fun. You sit in like a turtle shell, like four of you back to back. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. Yes, I love you know it. On the EAC, the East Australian Current, and they're yeah. surfing. It's like we're going on the EAC. Oh, that's so yeah, so that's cute. Okay, that's really nice. It is. You'll find it scary. The girls lie to me about the rides every time. I'm like, oh, I can't remember. Does this one go backwards? And they're like, no. There is one Guess scary what? bit huh? in Crush's Coaster, actually. Really? Yeah. Did we hit a crab or something. No. no. I know you're lying. I can. It's not like Everest. No. <laughs> Everest is my. Oh my gosh. At Florida, oh, Everest. Oh, it's go so good. Everest. Emily and I what? literally did it like did eight Everest. times in a row. It was yeah. so good. No, we didn't go to Animal Kingdom. You did it. Oh, Animal Kingdom is actually one of my favourites. I mean, I know we're in Paris right now, but oh, look at the bubbles! That's so nice. Oh. Okay, so to Crush's Coaster we go. Then to, to crap. Yeah. To snack. That's a freaking loot name. Yeah. And now there is no line. There was a big line last time, and we waited. And now we're here with no line. So excited. Nemo was amazing. That was actually one of my favorites. And it wasn't like it's a small world. It was actually kind of a bit like um, the one with the dog, Slinky, kind of. That's the only thing I can. Oh, but it was also Slinky like space. Is tiny. It was like space mountain a little bit, no? It was amazing. It was so good. I would take my boyfriend on that. Now we really need to eat. So we are back in the gorgeous Parisian area. We're gonna get a crap, go in the shop, maybe get a waffle, just to eat. Cheers, Marianne. With the cheese. Oh, they even put honey on it. Honey, cheese, and rocket. Wow. Gosh, I look so disheveled. 
<laughs> Miss us over here. Um, Vision of hell. Do you want to know the origin of this Komodo Nero? Oh. It stinks, Sophie. No, it does not. It does. But it's actually no, not low. Not it's not local anymore. The girl. <laughs> I grew it. And then it's not local Joseph's anymore. Having bone broth. <laughs> We're growing in her garden. Which do you mean? Where's your bone broth? Do you know what? I should have cooked some quinoa and put that in as well. I sliced up some ginger, so actually it's kind of like a soup, um, a tea it's like as well. Look ramen as well. Yeah. How have you kept the veggies fresh? Um, I spent them in the fridge. But they came on the train. And yeah, they've, been on, they've been on Ooh. Tower of Terror. They've been on Tower of Terror. <laughs> I bet Bone Broth's never been on Tower of Terror. Gorgeous. <laughs> I think we're going to get a waffle next as well. Mmm, what's in here? Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a bacon. Oh, it looks like a meat. Like a shawarma. Oh, it's like a shawarma wrap, isn't it? You can hear people screaming. These are scream monitors. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I love Monsters Inc. so much. People scream into them and they are scream monitors. That is literally amazing. <laughs> it gives energy to the monsters. That is so funny. <laughs> That's a wrap. We are going to find lunch and I think we are heading to the other park for it. And just like that, we are back home. Back into my favorite park. Those mm. people recommended waltz. Next time we should watch the parade from here. Apparently it's amazing. Cake pops for everyone. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <Look>. Yeah! <laughs> they are so good. I'm actually gonna take mine home for Matt and share it with him. We are heading for another crap. Fred needs her crap of the day. Love the mine train, which is not called the mine train. It's called Thunder Mountain. It's under construction. Look at it. It's a work of art. This is the crap store that gives you loads of Nutella usually. So Fred literally saw how little Nutella was in my crap and is running to get a crap from here instead. All got craps, it's crap time. Second crap of the day. So much better. So much more Nutella. Does it? I don't know that they're pre-made. They definitely made the actual crap before. We have to leave soon. So we were looking for a family to give our direct access passes to. And we just found the nicest family. It's just so nice to be able to give something like that. Like when Matt and I were at Wimbledon, 
we left a little bit early and we gave our centre court tickets to some friends and oh my gosh they were so happy. Their family was so happy, they were still behind us at the crepe stall and now they get direct access in this park. Ooh, thank you, the direct access thing is amazing by the way. When I come back I'm definitely doing that so it means that you basically get to go on every single ride that has direct access. just do it one day of your trip as well. It's amazing, you get to go on every single ride that has direct access and basically queue jump. It's insane, so I would definitely recommend adding that on. It makes just things so much quicker and so much more efficient. So, second crap of the day, walking up Main Street in a second. I'm so happy we actually got to do this park again today because that wasn't the plan. We were just gonna do Hollywood Studios all day, but this to me is Disney, it's so yeah. magical. We don't want to leave. The girls had an idea to go to Vapiano. Freddie did not know that there's a Vapiano here in the Disney Village. She said it's a revolution in her life. I actually came here for the first time. My first ever Vapiano was with Emily when we came to Disneyland Paris. We don't have much time. We're gonna see if we can get one. Maybe to take away or maybe to sit down. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but that's the plan after we've had our crap. Pomodoro pasta. I'm not gonna lie, it's definitely not my favorite spot for pasta, but we needed some food for later, and they literally brought me an entire bowl of Parmesan cheese. Yum, yum, yum. It's really good. Yeah, that looks amazing. You chose wow. That was delicious. I am very full. It's definitely not my favorite spot in the world, I'm just gonna say, but... It was still yummy. Like, it's what's essentially fast food. It's, oh, it's, it's, it's amazing fresh. for fast food. It's yeah. fresh and it's tasty. Yeah, like yeah. That's why I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, the quality is good. I mean, I'm so full right good. now. But we wanted Me to fill too. up before we get the train. So we're getting, we're grabbing our bags now from the hotel and then we are getting a coach to Gardenord. 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 And then we are getting the Eurostar. Let's get our bags and say goodbye to the pink castle slash pink hotel slash Emily's name for it. Disneyland, Disneyland Hotel. hotel. <laughs> the name for it. The name. The official the name. Hotel. It, thank you. It's the Princess Hotel or the Pink Palace. What do you call it? Josie. Uh, home. Home. Oh. <laughs> On that note, let's you go. Cheese. Let's she said go too much home. cheese at lunch. Let's go. I'm. Um, oh, that was really cute. The Disney magic's obviously got to you. Flowers, yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, magical. So joyous. Home. Buy some chocolate, seeing as we are in Harry. Oh, lovely. Oh, uh, they have heart shaped ones. How gorgeous. <gasps> They're so nice in the hearts. We have to buy gifts for Matt. He absolutely loves the BMBNs. And they do these really nice chocolates, not these ones. The dime nuggets, these ones. Playing a game on the train. We've named it Zoomies, but you have to basically zoom in on a picture of your door. What is it? Wait, okay, we're ready. This is three, two, one. You guys have got to guess what it is, right? Three, two, one. Oh, it's a parsnip! A parsnip. Or a turnip. Charlie's talking about you. Show the camera. That was easy. We've had better. We've had a grind pole. It's a very good I've got one already. Yeah. Three, two, one. Ah! A bang! Oh, it's, it's a tooth! It's a tooth! It's Cindy! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> that looks like so much. I've never seen one this light before! Yeah. She's that was just like. Three, two, one. Oh, it's Emma Kosha. I reckon it's a vegetable of some sort. So this one looks like 37 What is it? Any guesses? Yeah. Is it a squash of some sort? Yes! Oh, oh, I was going to say pumpkin. <laughs> well, guys, on that note, thanks for coming to play the game with us. And thanks for coming to Disney with us three times. We had three vlogs. And thanks to the gorgeous girls. Yeah, we had the best For coming. <laughs>
have fun with us. It's fun. Something we always have fun, don't we? We're going to do loads more trips. So comment below and tell us where we should go next. Palm Beach. Palm Beach. Uh, that's top of my list. Cots, Cotswolds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're going there right now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. What was your favourite ride? Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror. I quite like the Avengers ride. Avengers was so yeah. good. And actually, I was editing my vlog, and one that was really good was not Pirates of the Caribbean, Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones was really good. Yeah, you love that one. Didn't that you? one was great. I mean, I liked them all. Even though Emily lied to me about the Emily lied every time and told me that they were. What about Cushy's Coaster? Cushy's Coaster was actually it's really good. Imagine it was too being short. five years old and on that, you'd think you'd just caught no, with the world. Insane. It was yeah. insane. And the food, favourite snack? I can guess. Freddie was a baby. Yeah. Oh, such a crap. The Crunch Chocolate Breakfast. Sorry, it's really good. Aside from my bone broth. <laughs> I like, I love that pasta, I just had a bad piano actually. Oh, that was delicious. Really that doesn't count. Why? Yeah. That's not a Disney snack. Oh! Oh my god, the brownie, the cake pop brownie was mine. And I actually have the one The marshmallow. Bag. The marshmallow. No, uh, the reclet, um, the guest. Oh, the yeah. Yes. That was good. Oh my gosh, well if you want to see more, all the girls are <laughs> vlogging. And also I have a highlight on my Instagram called DLP. So thanks for watching. Bye! Bye. Bye. Subscribe if you haven't. Say hi on Instagram and we'll see you for the next one. Bye. All I love. I'm going to see you in like literally two days. Bye. <laughs> Bye.